Hi guys. Well, I think I've found my way back to winter time here. Uh, winter time in May here on this gloomy, chilly. It is a Sunday night, May 5th, 2024. It is Cinco de Mayo here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So I am enjoying a... Uh, an end times margarita to celebrate Mexican independence, I guess, or whatever happened uh, on Cinco de Mayo. But anyway, guys, I don't have anything really to read to you. So I, I've just been having this, this this rant bubbling. So it's just gonna like come off the top of my head. What I'm what am I gonna title this? Uh, I think I will call it my evolution, or is it devolution, <clears throat> from data, data doomer, data doomer, not date a doomer, data doomer, to carbon alarmist, yes, to collapse denier alarmist. Yes, little dog. Is your collapsed trachea We're going to collapse here on Collapse Chronicles? Come on now. Are you done with the collapsed trachea on Collapse Chronicles? The shit with this dog's collapsed trachea. They told me it was going to get worse. So anyway, uh, yes, I have been, um, I, I, I'm sure any doomer out there has, who studies apocaloptimism and hopium have noticed this, uh, this absolute, this overdrive surge in the carbon alarmist. The carbon alarmist is a, is a term I've heard being bandied about not so much the doomosphere, I don't think, as much as the hopium sphere. So my definition of a carbon alarmist is a species of apocaloptimist. And uh, the, this uh, a Zeke Housefather is one of them. Whoever the fucker in Bloomberg mag in Bloomberg. Um, a couple of weeks ago talking trash about me, I guess because I'm not a carbon alarmist, for suggesting that uh, the problem is not carbon, the problem is humans. The problem is not the carbon in the economy, the problem is the economy, stupid. Okay, the problem is not the carbon. Well, carbon in the economy is one small subset of the problems of the economy, and the economy is one subset of the problem of humans. But you know exactly who I'm talking about, these fucking carbon alarmists, going on and on and on and on somewhat correctly about how uh, if we don't uh, get carbon uh, uh, emissions down, we're fucked. And then they, uh, so that part, I, 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 I'm not totally have a problem with if, if, if carbon alarmism ended there, but according to my definition of a carbon alarmist, it, it's two parts. Uh, they understand that uh, that carbon emissions, the rising CO2, methane levels, and all that is a problem. They do understand that it is a problem, that it, it, it is even an alarming problem. But what they don't understand it's not the only fucking problem on the goddamn planet. And they, so the, the other side is of being a carbon alarmist 
just like this uh, that dude in Bloomberg, the the he's the climate change editor, I think, in Bloomberg. Don't remember that fucking moron's name. Zeke House Father, somewhat uh, Michael Mann, this guy Will Lockett on Medium.com, thinking the only fucking problem on this planet is carbon emissions. And so all we have to do is to decarbonize the global industrial economy which, number one, ain't going to happen. Uh, so we got that issue that it ain't going to happen because we're not going to decarbonize the economy, but it's the deeper layer of the onion that even uh, if we were able to decarbonize the economy, it would do nothing nothing to change the the trajectory on this planet with 8 billion fucking humans uh and and, and then then of course when the solution uh when the cure is worse than the disease you know th this fucking unadulterated horseshit uh energy uh, fucking renewable energy revolution, this energy transition, all of this happy horse shit uh, you're reading about, that ain't going to happen, uh, number one, and that nobody is talking about, uh, even if it did happen, it would not make a fucking difference. And this is where these fucking carbon alarmists, uh, I, I've had it up to here with them. Their heads are pretty much a, a, as uh, far up their asses than anybody uh, who sits here and denies that carbon emissions are not a problem. So what they are they, uh, these carbon alarmists, they are collapse deniers. They, they latch on to one little thing. It's like a doctor, uh, you, you, you know, having a patient uh, pretty much in hospice at this point, uh, or at least in the emergency room. So, so a patient comes in, and uh, they have cancer, they have heart disease, they have diabetes, they have AIDS, they have meningitis, they have corona panic, uh, whatever. So the doctor looks at a patient that, that, that has 25 things killing the, killing the uh, dude, and, and he tells the guy, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to treat, I don't know, your asthma or your diabetes. So we're going to de-diabetes your body. We're going to get diabetes out of your body and you're just going, uh, the cancer, the heart disease, the, uh, the AIDS, the uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, the uh, mad cow disease, uh, the corona panic, uh, your, your broken back uh, are, are just, uh, if, if we just cure your diabetes, you'll be fine. That, that's what these fucking carbon alarmists sound like to me. Uh, like, like a doctor denying uh, that, that there's 25 things killing his patient. And uh, so if he just fixes one of the 25, I guess the other 24 never existed or they'll just go away. And of course, our patient has 8 billion things killing it, N not, a, not a dozen. They are collapse 
deniers is what the is what these fuckers are and it can be anybody who just gets pigeonholed into one little area and all they see uh you know the old not can't see the forest for the trees uh i hate that fucking expression never made any sense to me, but this is a perfect example of not seeing the forest uh, because of one tree. Uh, anyway, they're fucking collapse deniers uh, thinking uh, that carbon is the only fucking problem. And, uh, but I also want to talk about this term, and you can probably guess the... the <laughs> My buddy who uh, who coined this, I don't know if he coined the term or he's heard it before, is this term data doomer. Uh, you know, someone who, st who studies the data. This, uh, this, this uh, dude, I think he spends like three or four hours every day of his life getting up at three o'clock in the fucking morning and and, and, and and doom scrolling, but you know, really getting down into the minutiae, uh, not just trusting journalists to uh, crunch the numbers and uh, and sum up a story, but he wants to go directly to the data, to all of these charts and these graphs. And, and, and the and these fucking the newest scientific study on I, I don't know uh, what, what, pick pick one uh, the Arctic sea ice the Antarctic sea ice uh, ocean temperatures methane levels uh, pick your poison deforestation overfishing uh, of, of course carbon emissions being one. Uh, uh, of 50 things, you know, down there mining the data. Uh, day after day, week after week, year after year, uh, it, it, he wants to see more and more scientific, I don't know whether he would use the word evidence or proof, of how fucked we are. And, uh, and, and, and now... I will say that this fellow uh, has not been down in the doomosphere nearly as long as I have. I went down here 16 years ago. He's been down here like five years. And in my early days as a doomer, I was more of a data doomer. For, for, for the first few years, I, I spent a lot more time, you know, trying to figure out what's going on, uh, you know, looking at the hard scientific data and digging around this shit, and, uh, and number one, because it was a lot harder, because nobody else was talking about it, except for the scientists, so you had to work a little harder. Uh, to, to come in your doom scrolling uh, was a hell of a lot harder uh, 16 years ago than it is now. And uh, so I did a lot more data uh, trolling, data scrolling than I do now. But uh, it, 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 you just start to reach a point. You, you start to reach a data saturation point. Uh, after looking at the fucking data uh, for 10 years, going on 16 years now, every day more and more and more data uh, coming in saying how fucked we are. Uh, you, you just get to the point, uh, how many ways can you say we're fucked? Uh, I know we're fucked. I, I, I appreciate the data doomers uh, working so diligently to, to, to look for more evidence that we're fucked. Uh, d does anybody need any more evidence that we're fucked a a at this point? Uh, 
I, I guess what some people, such as these carbon alarmists, need is they need more data uh, that that were fucked on a hell of a lot more levels than than than, than carbon. Okay, there there there's a hell of a lot more data out there, uh, and, and now we got you know get the AI uh, to crunch the numbers. There's a hell of a lot uh, enough data has already in uh, that has nothing to do with carbon emissions uh, uh, about about how fucked we are, and uh, I I just. You know, after 10 or 12 fucking years uh, of looking at the data, it's just like, what the fuck else do you need to hear? We're fucked. So, uh, you know, so I, I, I started off as a data doomer. And then, uh, of course... Um, uh, part of, but, but I, I have never been, you know, I, I, I'm always leaning more towards the overpopulation and the overshoot and the, uh, and the bigger picture. Um, so I, I, I don't think I've ever, uh, e even been, even using the definition of carbon alarmist, meaning I, I have never in my life claimed uh, that carbon uh, emissions are the only problem on this planet and that all we need to do to save the planet is to decarbonize the economy and just let the economy go right on uh, raping and pillaging this planet. Uh, so I, I don't know if I was ever a carbon alarmist. I, I probably there was some time in there when I was more concerned about carbon than I am. I, that, that I, I probably a few years ago, I would have thought that the carbon in the economy was a bigger problem relative to all of the other problems uh, than I do now. That the carbon in the economy is one more ingredient in, in, in this damn toxic stew of shit uh, taken down this planet. And you cannot sit there and, and, and zero in on one uh, data point and, and, and extricate that and, and, and think that with this fucking tangled ball of string uh, that, that, that you can that you straighten out one fucking piece of string, which ain't gonna happen. And even if you could disentangle and straighten out one fucking piece of string, you would still uh, have a big ass fucking uh, ball of tangled string to deal with. And more and more strings are, are being added every day. Uh, so now, as this word doomer, I, I mean, I heard Veg going off on it uh, a day or two ago, talk, you know, talking about this overused, almost cliche word doomer. So we need a new term. So I am introducing a new term into the doomosphere. A and that is, I am a collapse denier alarmist that I am raising the alarm about collapse deniers. Uh, the, the king of the hill, of course, being these fucking uh, carbon alarmists, uh, acting like uh, all we need to do, uh, all we need to do, yeah, right, is decarbonize uh, the global industrial economy when all of the data is pointing that uh, that we're not going to decarbonize the economy. Uh, okay, 
th them being the king of the hill. Anyway, so that is that is my evolution from uh, data doomer to collapse denier alarmist. You know, uh, what, what, what's it going to take uh, for, for people to wrap their fucking heads around how fucked we are? There's not a fucking thing that, that any carbon alarmist, uh, that any politician, that any techno-utopian, whatever, is going to fucking do about it at this point. And that is my Cinco de Mayo uh, rant for the evening. And uh, now that I've gotten that out of the way, I uh, think I will uh, find some uh, light comedy on Netflix to deny collapse for another night. My guys.